Welcome to Star Wars Squadrons Episode 9. Now, in today's episode, we will be attempting to save Starhawk. I think we can do it. And also, we're in this um, cool looking ship. I'm not too sure. I think it's called Ewing. Um, but anyways, if you enjoy this type of video, if you enjoy this type of series, leave a like, share, subscribe if you haven't already, turn the notification bell on, and with that said, let's get into it. Uh, I'm looking forward to this, because I know it's insanely fast. You wings keep the squadron flying. This is a support fighter specializing in disabling enemy fighters and empowering the squadron. So I was wrong. <laughs> I was completely wrong. Um, max speed 130. I didn't realize this was a support. Um, I must be thinking of something else. I'm going to say it did look bigger. Um, but that's interesting. This is going to be the first support uh, thing that we've actually done. Besides the Reaper. Obviously, that's on the Empire. Uh, well. And it, I've got to say, we're going to the Broken Moon or something like that. To repair the Comsats. Look at that. That looks insane. That really does. It's getting chased down. That looks insane too. Okay, then. Let's get it. Okay, Vanguard. The broadcast hub is close. I hope it's still in one piece. Look what the nebula's done to that moon. My dread what it could do to our ships. Damn. Could be worse. We could be back in the Xavian Abyss. Or dead in the minefield. See? Zorelda gets it. Okay, then. Them rocks look crazy. One to there. Uh, where's this comsats? Hiding somewhere? I genuinely think we might be able to do this. I really do. Oh, there we are. There's our broadcast hub. Beginning docking procedure. I'll have this old relic up and running in no time. Well, let's get this done before the Empire notices we're out here. I'm shaking in my boots. You're not nervous. Kyo, I've seen Vanguard Squadron fly countless missions. What am I supposed to be worried about? True, true. You know, we're absolutely godly. So, we just gotta protect Zerelda. And I'm guessing that's literally it. And we support as well. Vanguard, I'm in. Some mess in here. Stand by while I get this hub up and running. It's fine, it's fine. Hey, looks like the broadcast hub works. It works, but the system is a wreck. I'm gonna need some time to get all the comm sets back online. I'm trying to Quick. We have think to what our way. these are. Let up. Uh, turret mines. You can deploy turret mines near an objective uh, if you want to defend it. They will automatically fire lasers at nearby enemies until they run out of power. That's cool. Uh, so how do you, how do you do that? RP, RP. I said RP. <laughs> RP. Um, okay. Um, last attack at target object. Okay. So obviously we can't do any damage. I'm pretty sure. You know, we're very bad at damaging people. Um, oh, slow down, very a lot then to be fair. Okay. I forgot how quick you uh, you run out of ammo in this actually. Well, I I did play as the Imperial one, which is a little bit different. I guess you could say. Okay. Come on. One now. Oh, why are you gonna get away? It seems fast. Honestly, I think I might actually, when I'm playing multiplayer, I might play as a. Um, as a part. Seems interesting. Okay. There we go. Okay, so I just hit like a couple of them. I've got one. Now we've blasted to pieces. Two. Imperial fighters. We've just destroyed quite a lot there to be fair. There is a lot around. 
Oh wow, that's a oh that's that is a mine. That's fine. I need to do that. Oh, there's a couple of these bombers. We'll shoot that. Nice one. Yeah, we got it. Oh, go back up, back up. There's not many left actually. Come on, give me that. Give me that! No, you're gonna get away. I've got a couple of hit actually. I need to focus them. Oh, I hit something. I thought I did. Woo! I'm saying, man, that kill me. Game, come on, there, you know. Give us, give us some support. Indeed, they do. I'm on my way. Knock you out of. Look at that. They're, that's insane. I do like support, actually. They're pretty good. That was a big change in like two seconds. Coming to join ya. Wait, what's happening? Got it. All okay. comp sets are now active. Keep them safe. The more yep. we will do stronger our distress signal. Might as well get all these shield shield, shields. We need time for the comp sets to strengthen our signal. Then I can broadcast that what? distress call to the new republic. Gotcha, we'll keep the Empire away from the comp sets. Well, exactly. <laughs> I'm just spamming because it. If we lose them all, there we are. We lose everything. Oh, it's ticking. You heard her. Keep the empire off our comp sets. Why by me? We've almost got another one. Come on, Odio. We need this. Okay. There we go, finally. Tie bombers. Tie bombers. That is not good whatsoever. Oh, I can't go around. I can't go around. Oh wow, I can't get you. Nice one. I'm gonna focus you. Might as well. Might as well. There we are. Easy pickings. Easy pickings. You know. Okay. Trying to get you. They're destroying our comms set. Oh wow. I should just really focus you. Though. Oh, I need to get to it. They're gonna keep destroying it now. It's something they're gonna they're gonna target that very quickly. Oh look, see what I mean? The bomber. We were just literally literally just looked at him. It's like, yo, bro, calm down now. Come on! Give me that. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Oh no, I knew it was gonna hit. I thought, you know what, I might be lucky and get around. But no. Mom, I've got you. That's it, nice one. Right, there's only one more bomber, I'm pretty sure. Oh, he literally, wait, did he just suicide straight into it? If he, if he did, honestly, he's a legend. <laughs> he's risking the mission, that guy. Okay, uh, they all seem decently shielded up. Got you. You better do. I'm not doing it for free. Oh, I need to quickly go back to that um, comp set. That is weak. Very weak. If I shoot that now. Yes, that's what you get. You thought you were going to get it? No, you won't. We need to try and heal it up, to be fair. I don't think we can do that. I feel like with support, you don't lose as much health. You lose nowhere near as much. Unless you can actually regen your health somewhere. Which would be kind of good. Okay. Take you. Thank you. Nice one. Pretty good with these iron weapons. Of course I am my guy. Come on now, I've got a good aim. Oh wait, that one's gone down. I'm in their sights. That's fine by me. Like, no, I don't know what I'm... I don't know why I 
took damage there. I didn't even see any boulders in front of me or anything. Just keep hitting you. <laughs> he's gone. He's gone. Where's the silver one? Oh, he's chasing me. Oh. I'm gonna say, where is it getting taken down from? But it's literally. It's the one that's pretty much fine. It's a little longer. Come on! No, 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 you're gonna do it, you're gonna do it. Put that there. Yes, full. Full health. Wait, did I just get that one? I think I might have. I'm getting a little better with steering. And at the same time, I'm, I don't even know. Because it's hard, it really is. Especially trying to get to enemies that are behind you. Okay. Look, see what I mean? It went straight behind me. There we go. Come on. You can take it. Nice one. He's gonna die. Oh, oh wow, that's far away. It really is. Look at that. Oh, yes. Oh, wow, if that were... That would have hit me. That would have killed me, to be fair. Reinforcement. Oh, wow. Really? Imperial. Oh wow, this is gonna be hard. This is gonna be really hard, actually. So I just got a double kill. Well, oh, I'm not worried about people behind me. Okay. Oh, go go go! No! Yeah, I need to needed to pull up then. Where's this jammer? We're trying. Should have dodged that. Come on. There we go. Can we actually destroy this? No problem. Yeah, this is gonna be bad. Oh wow, this is gonna be really hard. Come on. Thanks. I knew I liked you. Oh, come on. Hit him, hit him, hit him. You're quite weak. To say how much damage we just put into you. Come on now. I'm not even too sure what they do. I just heard them come from my right ear, so. Keep it up. Like, what are you? Oh, thanks. I knew I liked you. Put that on there. Yes, times three. We've not. Oh, I thought that was a. Looks like our work here is done. Put that on the. I don't even care. Yes. Oh wait, these are. Signals back at full strength. Ready when you are. These have gone, gone. Attention, this is Commander James calling from the Ringali Nebula, requesting emergency assistance. Ooh. Thanks, Zerelda. We couldn't have done it without you. You're damn right. Commander James, we're regrouping with Zerelda and heading back to you. Oh wow, that's okay. Weird. The Temperance is headed to the far side of the moon. We'll meet you there. Commander, where's the Starhawk? Go, let's go. He was more badly damaged than we thought. General Sindula has evacuated all personnel to the Temperance. I'm hoping they don't destroy Starhawk because it does look insane. It really does. I feel like they will. I feel like they definitely will destroy it. We can't abandon it. We can lose our Starhawk prototype. But not the people who built it. You're gonna help them escape. How, boss? The Temperance's hyperdrive is busted. They're working on it. But don't worry. I'll buy you enough time. I think he's gonna die. You know, when you have a feeling that someone's going to die, I think it's going to be him.
years ago, the Rebellion welcomed me. Today, I feel honored to join the fight. Sir, you can't. Have faith, Kyo. Besides, if there's one person who can keep Jerissa's attention, it's me. I need you to lead our defenders. The future of Project Starhawk and... Maybe the New Republic itself is in your hands. All due respect, sir. You won't last a second out there alone. Alone? No. But thanks to you, I've been able to call in some help. Commander James, this is Anvil Squadron. We got your message. We're here to help. Good luck, Vanguard. And may the Force be with you. They better not die. Okay then. So, whoa, loud and clear. What did we miss? Medal information. Oh, that's why. See, we didn't focus it straight away. We were a little bit cautious, you see. So let's continue. Okay, not a bit strange. <laughs> when I was a police officer on Parkella, I'd spend weeks fighting red tape to arrest a racketeer or a slaver gang. People who were obviously guilty. I enlisted with the Empire because it gave me the power to do what was necessary. Deliver justice to the galaxy. Flying ties is more dangerous than chasing crooks. Every time I fly out of this hangar, I know it could be my last. But I come back. Time and again. I'm so tired of arguments about Imperial morality. I've heard pilots question our empire. They wonder if our methods were right. But they always forget one thing. The simple fact is this. We have the power, so we have determined what is right. When you're out there, Never forget that you get to decide who lives and who dies. You've earned that power. Let's go. The captain is waiting. Okay, nice little speech, you know, nice little speech. Um, I, I hope Lyndon James doesn't die. He, he seems like We've a good done character. It. With Vanguard Squadron backed into a corner, Lyndon James has made his last mistake. We have confirmation that Lyndon has joined the fray. That's not all. He's leading the same rebel squadron we decimated at Moncala. This is a calculated move. Lyndon wants me to do something reckless. He thinks he knows me. But he's wrong. We're not going to take the bait. Titan Squadron will focus on our real target. The Starhawk. Admiral Sloan is counting on us. I wish I could deal with Lyndon personally. But a commander's true weapon is a squadron, not a starfighter. Go. Complete your mission. And if you get Lyndon in your sights, strike him down once and for all. Okay. This is it, Titan Squadron. Our moment of victory is at hand. The Temperance has broken off from the Rebel fleet, but no matter. Our focus is the Starhawk. And thanks to the reinforcements from Admiral Sloan, we now have it surrounded. The Starhawk suffered catastrophic damage from our Baradium assault and has had no opportunity for repairs. If I'm correct, a careful strike to the ship's tractor beam core should turn it into a floating time bomb. Reaching the Starhawk will not be easy. The rebels managed to call in reinforcements of their own. Anvil Squadron, to be precise. Lyndon Javes, Anvil Squadron's tactics, personally. Anvil took heavy losses at Moncala, but they still have starfighters and a grudge. Destroy them. They're also fielding a Nebulon B frigate. We have a raider on hand to assist you. Once you mm. reach the Starhawk, you must breach its armor to attack the core. 
Scans indicate there's an undetonated Beradium missile lodged somewhere in the Starhawk's hull. Exploit that. With the hull breached, a single fighter can fly inside the Starhawk to attack its tractor beam core. We have no idea what to expect on the inside. Do what you must to start a core overload, and then escape to the Overseer while there's still time. All our work and sacrifice has led to this, Titan. Do not let Lyndon Jave stop you now. Okay, that's interesting. That really is. No, I think, I think we genuinely might be able to kill him. And if there's achievement to do it, obviously I'm going to do it. I need to. This is it. Destroying that Starhawk makes us heroes, and heroes have influence. A smart person could parlay that influence. Become Admiral Sloane's aide, perhaps. Once in the heart of Imperial power, you can guide it. From there, anything's possible. Even the foundations of a new Senate. Now all we have to do is win. Oh, don't worry. I'm not losing sight of what we must do. But this is about more than ending a war. A true future for the Empire. Beyond Death Stars and Rebels is within our grasp. That is what I'm fighting for. Whatever you're fighting for, remember it today. Okay, it's a lot, a lot of speeches, I gotta say. <laughs> LT514 and Captain Carroll. Captain, I would be remiss if I didn't point out that our odds of success are substantially lower than usual. Are you saying Titan Squadron is no match for a broken down rebel fleet? Oh, uh, no, not at all. Your record is very impressive. It's just that these rebels are desperate. That makes them especially dangerous. Hmm. A valid observation, LT-514. I expect you will keep it in mind. I took this pasting to see how squadron tactics really work in the field, and I discovered how little I really knew. But now I have enough material to submit an entire intelligence data bank on Titan Squadron, and yourself in particular. Watching you hunt rebels has been very educational, and rather fun. Thank you. <laughs> it's been an honor to observe. You've made yourself indispensable. Titan Squadron would not have been the same without you. When I called you to serve, you answered without hesitation. I won't forget it. The battle is waiting. Do not disappoint me. Okay then, so I think this is like one of the last couple of episodes to be fair because it sounds like they're putting a lot of stuff out, you know, that was, there were a good three minutes talking right there uh, and there's still more people to go through, you know, it's like it's like an ending cutscene when you're speaking to everyone and you know you're about to die or something like that or you know the, the game's about to end. Anvil Squadron makes no difference. Once the Starhawk is gone, we'll be one step closer to ending this war. But the end of the war doesn't mean the end of our duty, does it? Captain Carroll may be satisfied with destroying the Starhawk, but it's only one ship. Enemies of the Empire exist all across the galaxy. I'll deal with them myself if I have to. Sounds like a good retirement to me. Let's finish this. Honestly, it genuinely sounds like this is the last one. Oh, little mouse. I'm gonna click him. Shen. The main man. The main person. The war goes on. Didn't stop at Endor. Won't end with a Starhawk. Whatever's destroyed rises again. I've lived it. Like Emperor Palpatine. They need soldiers. Pilots. Always have. Always will. Rebels or Republic. We know our duty. Take strength in that. You fly. I'll follow. Okay. I do like the way you speak, and You know, you, you're speaking some sense right there. Uh, I thought you were about to disappear. Cause usually in some games, they just walk behind a wall. That's it, gone. Vanished. Literally just been, I don't know, just fell down a hole or something. 
Uh, but we are playing the Interceptor again, which is, I've got to say, one of my favourites. Uh, I do like how you can still go inside the cockpit. That is one of the like nicest uh, features of the game, to be fair. Look at this. This is pretty decent. Um, there's not much uh, machinery right here. <laughs> there's only a little computer, which is probably absolutely insane. Um, I do... Oh, that's how you get in. There's a little hole. <laughs> uh, let's have a look at Bubba's. Yep, some... Um, I don't even know what they are. I really still don't understand what they are. But I think we're going to end off here. You know, I think next episode might be the last and probably the longest. Um, I really do think something's going to happen. It'd be kind of crazy if they kill themselves, every single one of them. You know, like, they kill each other uh, and that's it. That'd be kind of, kind of interesting. I know there's, like, comics about this. I've not read them. Um, so, you know, they could turn around and everyone could survive and it could just continue, you know, who knows. But anyways, guys, if you enjoyed the episode, if you enjoyed the series, if you enjoy the series, not enjoyed, we're not even finished yet. I think we're only just getting started. Um, uh, but it's, it's, it's definitely getting interesting, it really is. But yes, if you enjoyed, leave a like, share, subscribe if you're not already. Turn the notification bell on, and with that said, have a good day and peace.